My first guest, a uh, very talented stand-up comedian who has expanded and broadened her horizons to other areas. She had a hit off-Broadway show, Without You, I'm Nothing, which she's turned into a most unusual film. This preview <laughs> will show you how unusual. Sandy? And I have even seen traces of Sandra in Diana Ross. that because um you you sing um uh, yeah there and yeah. it's funny because the singers aren't singing these days the comedians but are. The, the comedians are baby and mm -hmm. they're blowing everybody away <laughs> <laughs> what first of all oh I, I should wait let me let me back up you just had a birthday happy birthday thank you how old were you um i um i just turned 35. Oh, you never know. Yeah, not at all. And you got a new haircut for your birthday. So I did. No, it's been about three months now. Mm -hmm. But I'm working it, as we all have to. Yeah. You have, work, to, you have work to work that, that, that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> we won't get into the. We won't get into the hair, honey. The hair. Room. <laughs> that that territory's been covered. Oh yes, it has. We won't. Yes, we won't do any repeat performances. I've had like. 10 or 15 shows where we did hair for the first three minutes. Um, <laughs> let's talk about movies. Let's talk about movies. What's, what's this movie saying? What's this movie all about? Well, I, I mean, without sounding too uh, heavy, which I very rarely get into that realm, as you know. <laughs> uh, the, heaviness, the heaviness is never, um, never forthcoming. Uh, I think the movie is really about um, liberation and personal expression, and fighting censorship, and um, fighting sexism, racism, homophobia. Yeah. Yeah. All the things that, that were, uh, yeah, right on. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah. It's, it's really about the personal freedom that the flag is supposed to stand for, and not about um, revering a piece of uh, material like the American flag, which means next to nothing these days. Yeah. And so much importance is placed on it. And so little importance is placed on, on our ability to express ourselves and, and, um, and not be censored. And we're all getting really sick of it. This sounds like a heavy movie. Oh, baby, it is. But it's a hell of a lot of fun, too. <laughs> I might have shown the wrong clip. This sounds like... <laughs> no, no, no. You showed the right clip, because we want, we want the people to have fun, too. I mean, it's, yeah. it's entertainment, first, last, and always. But, you know, there should be a subliminal message well, in all of our work. Yeah, yeah. Will Diana Ross be entertained, or will she be mad at you? Well, Miss One will always be mad at me, honey. <laughs> what do you call her, Miss... Miss One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ross, the boss. <laughs> we're coming out. Oh, we want the world to know. <laughs> Have you ever met her... She's one of the few icons I haven't met at this point, I'm telling you, really. And we're from Michigan. You know, I'm a Michigan girl, and mm -hmm. she's from the Motor City. Don't forget the Motor City. Don't forget the Motor City. We're just going to go into, we're going to segue into so many songs tonight that it's going to blow your mind. Didn't it blow your mind that time? Let's get paid. 
Seriously, though, I... On the real side. Get, let's get on the real side. On the, on the real side. <laughs> on the real tip. Uh-huh. Are you afraid of... I'm afraid of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified 24 hours a day. Who isn't in this country? Well, before I ask girl. you that question, what makes you most afraid in life? <laughs> I, th I guess losing people. No, I mean, whether it's just alienating your friends and, and, and messing up and making big mistakes or, or people dying freaks mm. me out. Yeah. Death of close Yeah, people that relatives. you love and you care about in this day and age. It's, it's, life is so tenuous, you know? Yeah, w with the way you started out, I get a feeling you've lost somebody very important to you at some time yeah. uh, as, as a friend. Well, I mean, through di a lot of different ways, yeah, but um, this has been a big year for me. Growing up, getting real. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. thirty-five. You know, I mean, yeah. it's about time, don't you think? Well, I, I don't know what the barometer is on growing up. But well, know. I don't mean I don't mean like giving up, you know, fun. But you know, at some point you have to take responsibility for uh, your emotions and your actions. And uh, yeah. exactly what does that mean? Now, what does that mean? It means that when you hurt people, that you can cop to it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a hard thing to do, don't you think? Yes, I think, yes. Have yes. you hurt anybody lately? Uh, you know, I did hurt somebody, yeah. I can't imagine you hurting anybody. You don't seem like the kind of person that would... You know, sometimes you hurt people and you don't know you hurt them? Well, especially when you're doing what you're doing and you're real busy. People get really tripped out. Yeah. Because they need a lot of attention. Yeah, and it's, it's weird. You get up to bat so many times when you do this every night. You, know? you do, and you put yourself on the line. Yeah. And sometimes you fall flat on your face. Oh, I have so... Uh, my nose was much different than that. <laughs> Mine wasn't. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I fall so hard so often. Okay, so uh, we got to take a commercial, so I won't even be able to ask you that question. Well, we'll come back We'll come it. back and we'll do it. Sandra and Bernard. What I, I guess I should have known what? by the way you parked your car sideways <laughs> that it wouldn't last. <laughs> now, for those sitting out there saying, what the hell is that? Um, that's a line from a Prince song. Yes, it is. It's Let's... the encore of my movie. Let's... Where I really reveal myself, honey. Where I get down, low down and funky. How do you define low down and funky? When the camera's about ten inches up my butt. <laughs> Yes. When you can, <laughs> when you can see my tonsils from behind. Uh, the great thing about it is the great thing about being nude, being naked, being raw on your terms is that it's not about this business or Hollywood or men exploiting you. It's about saying this is my body. I'm excited about it. I dig it, and it's on my terms. Yeah. When you walked out, the first thing I noticed was that your dress was a low down. In. Mm. Do you know Isaac Mizrahi? No. You gotta, you gotta start wearing his clothes this year. He's doing not men's if, clothes. Not after cracking my booties. Oh, no, though. baby. I, no. I can't wear his stuff. <laughs> I don't want no suit. Where I come out and then, like, you know, and you see, like, you know, this area right here. Oh, I, honey, no, I'm not with it. You gotta, you gotta work that booty. Work that booty. <laughs> Uh-huh, yes. And you're not wearing underwear, are you? Well, honey. Why bother? Because even if I was, you still have the illusion that I wasn't, so why not just go for it? But I don't want to give I don't want to give the radio the censorship board anything more to discuss. This well, evening. they can't. I mean Oh, they could though. They could. With just a simple movement of the leg. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> let's, let's not bring up the P word. <laughs> ah, oh, so. Do you ever worry, I mean, with like the conversation we just had, or that dress, or the movie, 
Do you ever worry about being misunderstood? Does that bother you? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not, honey. <laughs> I'm willing to take that chance. I'm willing to go to that misunderstood place. <laughs> but only if you come with me, because I'm sure you feel the same way. I'll go. I've been there before. The misunderstood place, possibly Scottsdale, Arizona. Ooh. <laughs> Did you go to Scottsdale? I went to, uh, uh... I hope just for an hour, and you were only at the airport. Uh, three hours. I was there three hours, and I saw a basketball game. Okay. I could go for that. Phoenix Suns? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. good. They're a fun team. Now, you yeah. spent a lot of time in that area. Yeah, I went to high school in Phoenix, Scottsdale. I would imagine... Saguaro High. And, and it's a miracle that I'm st still here to tell the story, I can tell you that. No, no, what do you mean by that? Well, because, I mean, they mistook me for a black person. That's how racist Arizona is. <laughs> I am serious. Ew, your lips. <laughs> they were so turned off by me. Those, those blonde, uptight, very, very tired wasps could not get ready for me. I prevailed, and now my lips are all current. Yeah. And everybody wants them. Yeah, everybody. I've had In so seven, many places. I'm, I've had, ah, ah, ah. I was trying to interrupt you so that ad lib would never surface, but uh, there it was. Your lips are so popular now. Uh, people are paying money to, and, and, and. All of my lips are popular. That's and, what's <laughs> Down. Yes. Um, actually, you know what? It's interesting. You do have black lips, and you got a black onion, too. Your onion is kind of happening for Arizona, you know? I can imagine they would have mistaken you for a lot of things. <laughs> show your onion again just one more time. Let me show y'all this. Wait, could you just sort of see this? Because she has a black onion. Yes. That's the cover of Essence. That's the cover of Essence, I'm telling you. <laughs> Forget essence. Let's get very funky. Mm. <laughs> Take it to the jet place. Yes, indeed. Um, let's not talk about Arizona anymore. <laughs> let's not. It brought up too many bad, bad, bad memories. Yes. So, how you feeling? <laughs> I'm so good. I'm trying to I find a safe so area. Good. I feel so good. That's good. You That's know? good. Are you still doing stand-up? Not really. You know, yeah. I kind of stay away from the, you know, that scene, the comedy store. Yeah. Mitzi. Yeah. Everything Mitzi said to me... Mitzi's the owner of the comedy store. ...worked for me. Everything she said was wrong ended up working for me. She never understood why I sang or, mm -hmm. you know, why I did my little dramatic pauses. And she couldn't get ready for it. She's, she's an interesting character. We used to run into each other there in those very dark, scary hallways. Yeah, yeah. Woo! You know, it's interesting. When I look back at you and me and, and some of the people that were hanging out with us, the Paul Mooney... Paul Mooney, Mr. Uh, Mooney. Andrew Dice Clay. Look what's happened to Andrew Dice Clay. I mean... <laughs> yeah? What happened to him? <laughs> well, I... Oh, you mean he got lucky? Oh. <laughs> I love him. Cheers. No, you know the thing is, Andrew's a sweet guy. Cheers, Andrew. <laughs> but chill on the, the nasty side. <laughs> oh, you can say that here. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we'll just, that'll, that'll, you'll just take care of it we'll later. We'll take that right out. Look how, you see, look how concerned I am for Arsenio. I don't want to embarrass so him for a minute. Toast won't. It's so beautiful Cheers. to be concerned. Cheers, queers. <laughs> ah. ah. Well, anyway, <laughs> it, it's just about time for us to go. You're oh, going to be open. On. Uh, <laughs> you want it to be over, I hope. Oh, not at all. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I think you and I have been cheated tonight. I think you're right. Yeah, because you and I should have more time together. Well, now that I'm here, let's make it happen again. Yes. Let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. As a matter of fact, give me a talent coordinator right now. I need a date. Okay. I need another date for Sandra Bernhardt. Her movie's... Wait, wait. Her movie... It opens... It opens here. Here. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, June 13th. And, and it's then, already open in New York. Yeah, and then it opens across the country. By the end of this month, it'll be in all major cities. Without yeah. you, I'm nothing. 
It will become a part of your life. Yes, it so will. So look for it. Please check it out. This is Sandra Barnard.